As the country's center of economic and political activities, Jakarta has become the most populous city in Indonesia. With a population of nearly 10 million people and an additional 2.5 million from its peripheries during the day. With nearly 10 million vehicles on the road daily and a limited amount of public transportation, Jakarta experiences chronic traffic congestion. Several reports estimate the loss due to the traffic congestion in Jakarta is between 1 to 3 billion US dollars. While according to a study conducted by Japan International Cooperation Agency in 2004, Jakarta will face a total road jam by 2020 if the transportation infrastructure is not improved. The alternative solution of this issue is by providing mass rapid transit that is environmentally friendly and powered by electricity by adopting a system that is already utilized in other countries such as Singapore and Japan. Currently, I'm in the one of the access tunnel to mass rapid transportation system. This mega project will lead Indonesia transportation system to new level subway. So, this is my report. The tunnel structure consists of two lanes, namely a down track, or a southbound, and an up track, or northbound. This facility construction will be conducted by a tunnel boring machine, or also known as TBM. The TBM that will be used is a shield machine with earth pressure balance, with 6.05 meters in diameter of tunnel. TBM uses excavated material to provide support for the drill face thereby preventing soft ground from falling in during the tunneling process. Nozzles at the front of the drill head inject foam into the soil before the drill face cuts into it and turns the excavated material into a more liquid and malleable substance. Tadi kan masang prisma, terus fungsinya buat apa? Kalau ini itu masang prisma untuk pantulan total sectionnya. Karena ya ke surveinya. Kita sebentar lagi kan bangun yang terus sampai ke kota, Betul. kemudian bangun lagi yang melintang. Mm -hmm. Mudah-mudahan kalau bisa lima tahun, sepuluh tahun lagi, kita mungkin berubah. Okay. Tapi pengalaman di sejurus Indonesia itu banyak. Kalau kita lihat di sejurus, mudah-mudah semua. The rail-based MRT Jakarta will be stretched over 110.8 kilometers consisting of a south-north corridor of about 23.8 kilometers and an east-west corridor of about 87 kilometers. The south-north corridor that stretches from Lebak Bulus to Kampung Bandan will be carried out in two phases. Phase 1 will link Lebak Bulus and Bundaran Hotel Indonesia over 15.7 kilometers and consists of 13 stations and is targeted to start operating by 2018. Phase 2 will expand the previous phase from Bundaran Hotel Indonesia to Kampung Bandan of over 8.1 kilometers of railway, with construction to be initiated before Phase 1 starts operating. Meanwhile, the east-west corridor is expected to be approximately 87 kilometers long and expected to start operating between 2024 and 2027. President Joko Widodo said he would closely monitor the construction of the MRT project and calls on relevant officials to put aside all factors that could disrupt the process. While stating that it is a new history for Indonesian transportation, the president hopes that the subway project will face no problems. Meanwhile, Jakarta Governor Basuki Cahaya Purnama said the underground work was expected to be completed late next year. <laughs>